dumbass Android phone. But um, <clears throat> yeah. I, mean, I do have an Android phone, but oh, it's, facts, it's a relatively new one, and relatively still buns, bun city. All right, new so buns. everybody's in here, right? Yes. I am going to get this shit started. What is good, everybody? I am John D. Contradiction, and this is episode what? Motherfucking twenty. Episode twenty of the Not Your Man's podcast. We got co-host today go with the regulars oh it's Marco, bitch <laughs> his <laughs> phone clipped out his fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's uh, technical guys. difficulties up in this bitch oh, yeah, right. we're like yeah, we're, yeah we're starting now JP oh woo <laughs> <laughs> oh man you want, to, you want to try that again Johnny <laughs> yeah we can we can try it again I'm John D contradict I am John D. Contradiction. This is episode 20 of the Not Your Man's podcast. I got my <laughs> regulars. I got the regulars with me today. Introduce yourselves. It's Waco, bitch. It's Martin. It's your boy, JP. Ooh, ooh. And we got uh, our special guest today. He is, a, he is a fellow reviewer. He's a fellow troll. And he also has a block list that's pretty deep and extensive. Introduce yourself, sir. What's up? What's up? You're it's your boy Adam the Arab. Oh man, Arab, our fellow cloud demon. The fellow cloud. Yeah, I say I go to Arab because I'm ignorant. But no, stop he... that. One time. <laughs> okay, y'all don't know how angry this makes me. So the the clipping album got a whole minus one point because he said Arab. Yeah. Um, he. I, I, it's upset. funny you caught words from that because of all the fucking noise that's happening on that project. I enjoyed some of it though. I enjoyed the remixes more than the actual songs. That I don't know how, but that happened. But uh, <laughs> so we had a we had an we had an interesting week. We had a uh, we had a lot of shit happen. Honestly, I feel like a lot of gold happened this week too that people just didn't we'll fully appreciate. Up. Yeah, you know. But um, we started off the week the usual. It's become it's become a thing now. We start off with a nice fat red stamp. Stamp. <laughs> so the first project to start off the week was uh, Donnie Womack by Don Tolliver. Oh man, this is this is probably the most blue squared icons, yeah. blue squared emojis I've ever seen. <laughs> Just lined I up. You, I got you, Dagger Man. I got you. <laughs> this one's it, rough. It, 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 the first line just says it. This project made me miserable. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. It's a rough one, man. This this is a rough, rough, rough project, man. Uh, Fucking. What's Dice funny is low. someone. Uh, I feel like uh, someone was like, yo, this shit, <laughs> one song, he actually specifically said, one song bangs, and I thought that was back hysterical. In, back in. He was like, no, you're that, lying to yourself. Stop yeah. lying. That sounds trash. <laughs> yeah. Please stop. Dude, these... I, I, I hate <laughs> the public just lies to themselves now. They just... They stand themselves. Oh yeah, it's great. What's it's funny true. is how much like lack of respect for like these type of artists I have because I tagged the wrong guy in the first comments. Like, <laughs> hey, you meant to tag this guy, and I'm just like, whatever, man. Facts, like, fuck it. Gaunt liver. <laughs> I, like, I don't care, bro. I don't know who this dude is. It's fucking trash ass album easy, cover. Easy. Thank you for tagging him, though. bro. This guy's is a family man. The guy that you actually tag. <laughs> I didn't even like try. I'm just like, yo, I'm doing what I want. He got, he got his kid playing hockey and stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> Out here ruining well, lives. Yeah, fact. Giving just, <laughs> giving just civilians red stamps. <laughs> Can you imagine if like we actually had some clout and you get, you did that, and then just like thousands of people just spamming L's on this man's family photos? <laughs> Dude, you know what that reminds me of? Remember when um when we I think it was when we did the shunned and I tagged like that metal band shunned and the guy was like, Well, you know, you should watch your tag and I just cursed him out and he got all soft, like you didn't have to be an asshole about it. <laughs> Remember that shit? Yeah, he was like he was like, You should be more professional about this. We were like, Fuck you <laughs> <laughs> Just started cursing him care. out. Punk ass trick herb. Alright, so the next project was uh four <laughs> four milli by Baka Not Nice. What a name. But I didn't hate this. This, was, nice. this like just escaped the Pumpkinville range. It Honestly, should have been, been a real stand. Should have. I agree. It, it, it was. It was close. It was close. But I, I, I gave him a little bit of leeway because of his name. But uh, oh, fast. Yeah, super soft. Drake, Drake, I'm not even on his project. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You just bring what? up Drake. Because I said right there. Are, are, are you? Are you? Oh yeah. Is, yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. I said that's Drake's dude, right? That's yeah. Yeah. Drake. 
okay. Yeah. He's, he's his body. We flamed, thought you were just having like. We were about to get flamed. Yeah, yeah. We thought you were just like. Oh, oh, just, I was about to stop, stop, take no. your pants off right now. <laughs> Oh, stop, stop. Stop. He just said it because he was in the middle of lighting candles. You know what, guys? Fuck my dick. Fuck uh, okay, okay, six nine, JP six nine. Relax yourself. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so yeah, this project was weird, man. The production was dope, but um, it was a little too much auto tune singing, rapping, and it's just. But I got a question for you. Oh yeah. Was Baka not nice? <laughs> <laughs> I hated that as much as Baca I enjoyed that deeply. Baka was Mare. Yeah. Was all right. So next project, we're gonna move on from that though. That was just like a regular. The new age kids will eat it up. So the next project, oh my god, I got something to say after we go after this dude. So the next project is Old Money by this dude Big Willie, and I low key Worst thought we were gonna ever. get uh, the best name, <laughs> but I thought we were gonna Damn, get. Yo, I thought we were gonna get. I thought I was gonna get one. killed for this. Because I don't really? know why. Because I thought, because like I low key just called him fat, and I feel like people are too sensitive now where you just can't call people fat anymore. It's horizontally so, gifted, man. That's it, uh, not, as a fat man, I am pro fat shaming. <laughs> yep. I feel like, you know, people need to understand that being yep. fat is not necessarily a, a good thing. It's good to be confident, but like it's not healthy. Fat. So, like, fat, why fat. are we lying to ourselves? Fat shaming is okay. Being outright mean. Is not. You got to do it like how the immigrants do it. You know what I'm saying? Like Spanish immigrants. You know, Hispanic. <laughs> they'd be like, "Oh, you're looking a little healthy," or like they. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do it. Oh yeah. But being fat is not okay. Stop it. There you go. Well, you you could, See, we can't see him. Fat shame. See, rap, I didn't. We're all hungry. <laughs> nice Max. bars. Oh, bars. Woke. Bars. And that's a fact. This dude does. <laughs> this dude is a big. He's a big fella. But um, I just went on and I named all like my favorite dollar menu places in this review, and had a good time with it. <laughs> and he he didn't I you know obviously he didn't like it, but he didn't he didn't block us which is cool. But I did call him out today and he del- and he deleted my comment. He posted like a freestyle, and he he like forgot his own words, so I called him out on it. I was like uh, I was like what did someone drop a biscuit in front of you while you were rapping? And he- <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It happens sometimes. Yo. It happens sometimes. But um, I was this Yo, morning. I was Willie's in really that big. I, I bet he hadn't seen his Willie in a while. Nice. You're <laughs> on, that's that's two for two. Willie's so the back of the back of not nice, and now big Willie. His Willie. I see you walk. I'm on here, fire. Right? You're on fire today. I see you. <laughs> so <laughs> the next project was a project that I thought was going to be good because everybody's been hyping this kid. This kid has a bunch of like freestyle videos, or whatever. This was uh, loose by Jack I heard Harlow. His name everywhere too. Yeah, I thought this was going to be good. I actually saw a couple of like artists that I like posting this album in their stories and shit like that and i was like oh man this might be good and this kid's confidence on the cover i was like i don't think i'm gonna like it and sure enough (laughs) yeah you know what i'm saying when someone's a little too lax it's like all right you know something about that cover is just not doing it there's no hunger there you know should be black and white (laughs) yeah it's back but this it's literally just like a myspace photo cropped into his face (laughs) fact this project was uh the kid who uh the dude who did the photography and shit he's been all over the comments he's like a cool kid i don't think he hates that i you know didn't like it but he was commenting so fuck it but um who else peeped this album what'd you guys think bro can i can i speak my feelings about this album Uh oh i I got i got some thoughts so first of all just the floor (laughs) just saying the word yeah after every other bar does not make the song lit that just pissed the the track none free and pick up Pick your phone up. He just says, yeah, like every other verse. Oh, yeah. And it, he just sounds like he's going to yeah. die. And then on Cody yeah. Banks, on Cody Banks, he says the worst bar in history. He goes, <laughs> oh, uh, I'm I'm trying to put uh, what is it, a bouncy house in, in you or something like that. And then the ad lib goes, that's a lot of children. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's rough. That might be that. Uh, we're going to put that. I'm going to say that's the second worst bar because... <laughs> That uh, that dude, I forgot his name. That block boy dude who said, "Uh, met her on IG. Fuck that bitch, Nakey." Still the number one worst thing I've heard yeah, all year. Anybody use the word Nakey? <laughs> <laughs> no grown man should use the word Nakey. But bouncy house, that's a solid second. I'll give that a second. No, this project though was like it was wild, boring. Like all the production was smooth, but it wasn't like it was the best production. So you either have to be good on it, or it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna be like boring. I'm be honest. This is one of those ones where I got like. 
30 seconds into the first song and, and I was you, like, mm-hmm. yeah you know you you immediately know nope <laughs> you, you know what really nope. upset me though there was a what what fucks you up is like we've been doing this for a, a hot minute we you go into a project you see someone got a sci high feature you think he's gonna be fucking nice correct Maybe. You, okay, has to go. you know what i'm saying like you don't just put sci high on any album yeah, how did he? I was gonna ask about that actually. How did he even? Yeah, how did Sahai even get on it though? That's what I'm saying. Like, it makes no sense. Do you think it was the bag, is, or is he um, know somebody? No, his manager is DJ Drama, so that's mm. how he probably got he it. Knows somebody. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. He's like, come on, man. You think you it's can tell favor. him for a pal? Be a pal. Come on, just get him. Can you do me a favor? Do me a favor. Yeah, please. Can, I, can you save this kid's album, please? <laughs> but yeah, and the track was cool. The, tra- the track was cool, but like this kid just didn't. He never did anything that I really liked, man. I'm just like he's just yawning the whole fucking thing. It's like I'm not looking into it. at your rating. This should have been an EP. It should have been a what? EP. Oh yeah. Should have cut all the bullshit. Just put out the good songs. Yeah. Call it the and it would have been a so- it would have been a solid EP. Give it the Kanye. There you go. Yeah, give it the Kanye. Seven songs. I'm saying I don't understand why we poor people don't do that. If you do not have a solid body of work that's going to be a fucking hour long or like 40 minutes, don't put the whole fucking thing out. You know what they should do? I, <laughs> this is what I call like it's kind of like uh, what I do to Angie subconsciously, where she doesn't know like quite like in the background. I'll put on two songs that sound similar, and I'll be like, "What do you think of that song?" And she'll be like, "Oh, I liked it." If she thinks it was just one song, then that's a problem. Then one of those got to get scratched. You know what I'm saying? Like he could have done yeah. this with this whole project, and he would have been straight. But it is what it is. So, next project. So this project, after uh, M sent me the review, has been on my rotation. This is uh, the Trap by Derek Minor. This, this project's fire. Is this is gas. Yo, this amazing. is this is this is some shit that like old heads can like if you know, old heads that are like I fucking hate trap and this and that. You can show them this comfortably and be like, mm, not all trap is bad. Big old diamond. I have a, yeah exactly. I have a dream, bro. I listen to that song once a day. Honestly, the the first track could have been a diamond too. With it was the almost. It's it see, was like right there. Almost, yeah. Almost. You don't want to get carried away. No. <laughs> nah, nah. Give them out. Give them out. Nah, but this this project was fucking <laughs> solid. Like, and what's weird too, like the the first track, fucking fire, and then the the ones after it kind of went down like the new age new age type deal but then from there it just gets it bananas yeah it just gets fucking wild bro you like know like man too man sh- like man was borderline like you know borderline fire truck like you you just sit there and listen to it and you're just like oh my god like you relate to it you know yeah fire even if you're not about that life it's still you know it's still mad relatable yeah it's fire yeah. He, he yeah this is this this project was on some shit man i really fucked with it um the uh it's just it, you. You honestly, I didn't expect this from him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, didn't I had no idea all. who this was, and then it came out of left field. And I like, you know, when I I've never heard of him before. When I, when I loop an album more than one time, you know, mm-hmm. it's definitely something that I want to listen to. Yeah. Know? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, this pro- this project is fucking heat. Like, it it did it did its thing. This is for this is old heads rejoice. All right, you could go quiet for a bit. Yeah. Like this is this is where it's at. Adam, you peep this one. Oh no, I haven't. Yeah, we one. we gonna we gonna we gonna wait for the bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> I only peep the bad ones. That's the way to go to our page. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? Because we listen to those some of those, so you don't have to. <laughs> right, that's that's how I can get the interactions. The people react with the bad ones. That's a fact. <laughs> people true. love that shit. So <laughs> the next project was uh, Visionary by Pooh Hefner. Oh, man. Uh, First off, another fucking awful name. <laughs> Great name. Yeah, that's a great name. <laughs> it's fantastic. I think it's the perfect balance between old school and like trying to relate to the kids. <laughs> I'm feeling this fact. Fact. I mean, there, there's Pooh Bear. Like the, he's a really good pop yeah, artist. I think fire. So. This is this project is boring though. I couldn't I couldn't get through this project. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm yeah, wild. No, me neither. Same. This is, I made it two songs. You know what's crazy? I can't listen to anything with him or fucking um. What's that dude that filthy rich? They both have put out a thousand projects this year. I feel like they're the only oh, people. Who put I don't, out. I've never heard this Pooh Hefner guy before. He he put out. A, he we just did a review of his project. It was him and Filthy Rich just did a project. Did we? Yeah, it was like a week. Damn, or two I'm ago. A, I must not have paid attention to him. I know who Filthy Rich is. Yeah, this dude, Filthy Rich is like on par with like fucking Napoleon, uh, did I miss that <laughs> the legend right maybe? now. That... Yeah, maybe, but uh, Filthy Rich yeah, has just been putting out shit. This project's boring though. Visionary by Pooh Hefner. It's pretty boring. The cover's funny. He's just him looking like he bleached his skin. 
same complexion as the two white girls next to him is pretty hysterical. None of it looks the real. The bitch next to him looks like she's sped up. <laughs> <laughs> Just, she's like, this nigga ain't got no more Henny. <laughs> <laughs> he got no money. He got us at this, this Motel 6 taking a picture <laughs> in front of a pool. He got photoshopped some shit in the background. <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> That's a bad that photo. That looking awfully <laughs> So the red bottoms on their feet. <laughs> Back. Like, oh man. So you've covered up her titties though. Which is, oh yeah. Oh, I do troll uh, shit too. Like I, I like sometimes strategically place like the the stamps and shit just to be a troll. Like right over their faces. Oh yeah. I fuck it. Like if it's a bad one, I'll, I'll oh, like I make sure it covers them. I do shit like that sometimes, but. That's that's for me. Those are like my little things where I just like giggle to myself, like a child. But um, so the next thing uh, we uh, we wanted to show a little a little love. So Mark, you could take over on this one. Uh, well, we showed a little love to my dude from back in the day, Big Mac. You know, he just he died unfortunately. He didn't get enough love that he did. You know that he should have. So I figured I paid some homage to him, and then you know peep his. Tell the people to peep the back tape at least. You know, it's definitely something that should be listened to, and it was ahead of its time. So, salute to that. Give salute to listen, that, bro. Give a uh, salute to Big Mac and the rest of the piece, man. You know, we think about you every yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Salute to that, man. Yeah, that that tape's dope too. Like, definitely yeah. something that people need to ch- take a look. I, I feel like something that the the youngins need to listen to since. No, exactly. <laughs> you know, even if you're into like the EDM, this is what EDM should sound like to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fire. So, rest in peace, Big Mac, bro. Yes, sir, rest in peace. Definitely would have got the check in real life. Oh, absolutely. Check all day. <laughs> Unlike the next artist. <laughs> <laughs> this wow. was uh, started by Rico Havoc. Oh, man. This awful. is rough. Yeah, this is awful. a rough listen. Did, a- did any of you guys make it through the whole thing? Besides, besides M, did any of you guys make it through the whole thing of this? No. I made it further through this one than I did the other two, but no, I didn't make it to the end. Who's man's master tracks? Oh, man. dude, that track is hysterical. I listened to that a couple times. That's about as far as I made it. Oh, it's rough. I couldn't. You look like Iverson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Trap <laughs> Iverson. Man, I don't know if it's just, like, exhaustion <laughs> from all this shitty music, but, like, when I try to listen through this stuff to, like, prep, the bad ones, man, just seem worse. I don't know if we're just scraping the bottom. At this point, a lot of times what? I listen to it when I when I'm in the car because you can't really skip. You know, Damn. like getting. But I uh, know nah, you can skip. <laughs> yeah, you can skip. <laughs> I'll be on. I'll be on 95 <laughs> doing 90. I got a, a different album. I got nope. a Subaru, nigga. <laughs> the, the buttons is comfortably by my thumbs. Yeah, yeah, I got a yeah, screen on my fucking dashboard. Cool, but but you're more likely to listen to it because you don't really know nah. what's next. Nah, nah. Car. If I hear some trash, nah, uh, my car. Nah. My yeah, car tells hear, me. You can hear the trash even clearer. In the car. <laughs> yeah, what's funny is one of the dudes we reviewed that I gave a bad review is the SoundCloud Saturday dude. He's just like, this this John, fire, 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 you capping, bro. It's like, what relax. Is, okay, what does the term capping even mean? Lying. Oh, you old as fuck. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Don't do this to us, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta Someone's going to listen to this and have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> like, how old is these guys why the fucking you just gave us a bad name bro you're the logo right I now pull, I, pull, I pulled the walker I pulled the walker <laughs> yeah. that was rough everybody's gonna be like ooh that him that him must be like 40 years old <laughs> what's crazy is that word's been, like, been thrown on our page a lot like what'd you think when they were doing like no hat hat like what'd you think I they were? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't know, no hatting I didn't know that meant no cat <laughs> now, the only reason I know what it means is, like I said, through context clues. I don't know why it means that. I thought no cap. I didn't know that. Like I had Thug in them say it, but I thought that meant like for real, like no lie. Yeah, cap means yeah, lie. Means no lie. Like, and then if you say you are capping, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh okay. So I was right. Okay, because no. a lot of context under that no lie. Oh, so this podcast is for ages 60 and up. In case anyone. <laughs> In case anyone wanted to know, oh, at, least lie, at least they didn't lie about it. I mean, like, sometimes it's good to just lie. This, man, and just, no cap. You, what you do is you just not know what it means until you figure it out. <laughs> you just smile. <laughs> you don't admit it. You just smile on the microphone. <laughs> when I used to work at Universal, I used to be plugged in, 
because I had a bunch of 17 year olds working for me. So I knew all the new lingo. Back, walk away. <laughs> and they were all saying, like, are you green? Are you green? Like, just like that. I, I work for a bunch of Koreans. <laughs> you know all that Korean thing. <laughs> Factual statement. They're talking about getting faith lips and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. So. What can they go in the ASEO? <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. So, moving on. By the way, Adam, I know it's madness, but I, th- I think you you kind of understand where our mentality is now, just hearing it's all, I've I've seen worse on the radio. You see my show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to listen to your show. Yeah, when are you going to get us on your show, bro? On my radio show? Yeah. Oh, I'm back on spring. So, yeah. spring, so like, so whenever that is. You're in where? Oregon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my sister's about to go to Oregon for a wedding. Okay, sweet. Maybe, maybe I'll see her. I don't know. <laughs> you won't see her. You I won't see her. Like you capping, bro. You capping. <laughs> you don't want to see my sister either, bro. She can whoop your ass. I promise you. Probably. <laughs> ask Mark. He can vouch. Is she, is she like as tall as you two? Factual fact. My sister is me, but a girl. <laughs> but she's tall. She will be and strong. Oh, that's so abs- strong. Absolutely right. I've seen her. I've seen her put a kickboxer in a fucking chokehold. <laughs> dude, dude, I don't play with that, man. I, I, I don't condone like beating up chicks, but once in fucking <laughs> elementary school, this big girl Tiffany, she slammed me on a table, and I three pieced her. Oh no, my sister was <laughs> for safety, bro. Anymore. It was pure yeah. safety. Like I felt in danger. I don't play that. Oh yeah, she caught quick. Cause this was nah, this was like skinny. My sister's one of those girls. Like you'd have to fight her. Dead ass. Like, there's no like. Oh yeah. You know, like most girls, like if they try to run at you, you can just pick them up, shake them real hard, and then put them back down. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't actually have to hit them because I'm big, so that's my go-to. Like if a girl tries to stab me or some shit, I just grab them by their arms, lift them off the ground, shake the fuck out of them, and then put them <laughs> back down. What are you doing? Somebody okay. want to stab you? I've dated some crazy chicks. I'm Mark can also uh, <laughs> confirm that. Factual statement. <laughs> Again, <laughs> dude, those be the best ones, but uh, so it's true. Yeah, but also, factual statement. Yeah, you know, it's 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 a tough world. Like, why do we like such negative things in our lives? I don't know, but but I yeah, not McDonald's yeah. man does not condone fighting women. No, not at all. <laughs> just so you know, just KO them with a fucking shaking baby syndrome. <laughs> Nah, yeah, you just pick them up and shake them. <laughs> make them a vegetable. So that way, that way they can fit in your pocket after a few years. So you pick them up and shake them so they forget why they're mad. Treat them like breaded chicken. So, fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, next. Uh, next project. Mm-hmm. So this uh, next project is uh, Champion by uh, Be Light. This is Arnod who did a uh, reviews for Scotty us. Scotty Mac 2.0. Oh. oh, this is Arnod. Damn, I wish I would have listened to this one. I actually skipped this one. Yeah, this is oh, his project. So, uh, damn, yeah. I would have listened to it. Damn, you gave Arnod a, 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 a <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> you should have just gave him a stamp. He's never doing a review you. again. You can't. You can't do it soft like that. You gotta oh, either be like, it's a nope. <laughs> So and, and what's funny is like we like he's from where we're from. <laughs> he's from where me and JP are from. Like he knows where y'all live, huh? <laughs> school he with us. Find you, PP. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it's all it's all it's all love, man. I like that though. That's what the team was built for. We're we're, we're here to not be friends I with him. Man, that lift. <laughs> He's just trying to hide that lift so hard, man. But sometimes it just come through the mic, man. Um, it ain't good. Oh, you had to man. wipe your ears after, but um, <laughs> this project's actually not terrible. It's not bad. So there's some songs it's that not don't. Terrible, yeah, there's some songs that good. don't. Yeah, there's some songs that he shouldn't be rapping on. Yeah, JP just gonna make a straight up trash can. Not the, not the trash emoji. <laughs> he doesn't use the trash emoji. Just the basket. <laughs> the trash basket. <laughs> No. <laughs> it's like it's like corporate garbage, you know, like That's a fact. That's a fact. I'm busting my ass in here. Don't ask me or mine for nothing. Listening to our <laughs> nod. I'm oh, worth, I'm slaving over this hot phone all day. Oh, oh, man. Man. So, but yeah, this project is like, it's all right. It's, it's a little forgettable. It's all right. But it, the good thing is I know he produces and he like makes the master it himself. So it's like good for that. But some things you just got to get a little more comfortable on. But it's like, you know. Or not. It's still our dog. Or not. <laughs> kind of our mans. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Adam's just 
listening at this point. <laughs> Sorry, did you check that album out? Right. For, this is like listening to your podcast but live. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. It's just madness. <laughs> it, 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 you used to hear everything that's not cut out, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You Honestly, I, I stopped cutting stuff out because I just stopped caring. Like, I just sometimes we just be saying some gold. Fuck if, it's, fuck if it violates somebody. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. I'm, I'm not worried at all. So, um, We're not on the radio. We don't have to watch our mouths. <laughs> Fact. It's so bad on the radio. If you, like, cuss, you can, like, straight up pay, like, thousands of dollars. <laughs> Yeah. How many? How yeah, many? Exactly. How many curse words did you get per show? Like, did none. they give you like a limit, or is it just no, 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 none? One time I had like how a hard sound clip. You not to flip up. Oh, for me, I'm good. But like, sometimes I have like soundcloud oh. rappers, and like, they'll just like let it slip, and I'm like, hey man, like watch yourself. You don't have like and a like a delay. If I ever go on your show, I have to be very careful because I curse like a sailor. Oh, it's, it's all good. You don't have like a like a delay or like you know, like the beep like on. <laughs> No, no, it's live. It's live. It's live. Ooh, video show. Oh, but we're like, definitely. If that ever happens, we're definitely gonna have to. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at switching I'm up. Awful. I'm pretty good at switching I, I up. I can't do it. I'm bad, <laughs> oh, we I'm know you. Here. We know you can't. Because <laughs> <laughs> my customers at work all the time. I'm like, fuck. Oh, sorry. Well, sorry about my friend. Oh, see, I'm good. I work in a corporate environment, so like, I go through most of my day not. I feel pain. I work with contractors all day. Oh, so they come and smell like weed and shit. Yeah, you guys just curse at each other. You guys don't even talk. You guys just curse. Communicate via slander. Yeah, it's just, what the fuck do you want? And grunts. <laughs> yeah, and grunts. Just, everybody smells like cigarettes. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, next project. Ooh, we got another pumpkin. Light skins. Ooh. Dishing out pumpkins. Ooh. That spice latte. <laughs> so, this is yeah, uh, a... Yeah. Yep, from me to you by Nebu. darker than me pronounce his name? It's Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, My like, but Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar. I think you said it the right the first time. Yeah, Nebuchadnezzar. Did I? Oh, oh, I'm killing it. Whatever. It's a fucking. Yeah. We we all seen the Matrix. We all know about. The, we know. We know what the fucking name of the ship is or where his home was. So this project is. Uh... Bubble gum. <laughs> Dude, so this one, I was mad that people didn't appreciate the gold that I wrote in there. I'm just like, man, you know, when you when you like the gold, when you enjoy like a review so much, and you're just like, oh man, this is gonna kill, and no one like, it was a good one. Like, like, good. My, like my young Ace one. Oh yeah, that young no, that was, ours. was fucking. That was flawless. Like that one, like years that down the hard. road, that one's gonna come back out. People are gonna be like, man, oh, is that the one where you like change your names? <laughs> use the names no, of the song. I usually yeah. use the name of the songs <laughs> in the review. Yeah. <laughs> now this this one though this one is bubble yeah. gum as fuck. This I know, so. bro. I was cooking. I was yeah. I was in my bag when I wrote yeah, this. Yeah, this one, is bro. funny. Someone ran my yeah. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and I apologize. Like, come on, bro. I was cooking. Like this project was Man. mad fucking bubble gum, bro. It was super soft, like. The most like light skinned shit you've ever heard. So I was just like, all right. So for the most High part, quality it's... ice cream truck music. <laughs> yeah, fact. That's a <laughs> That's fact. I, dude, I got no love on this one. I, I I like went in, but you know I'm gonna let it rock. But the you hooks got were here. Likes. I know, but I'm gonna, I was I'm waiting for WLP it. to comment. You know. That's oh, when I know something's like gold. Yeah. WOP likes stuff that like normal people like when we say shit that like normal people wouldn't say about someone's art. That's when WOP comes in. When it's just blatantly disrespectful, he's, he loves he's it. Shooting off fireworks in the background. It's not even Memorial Day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's Memorial Day weekend. You fucking unpatriotic fuck. Facts. Absolutely. <laughs> Facts. So the next uh, we did our throwback Thursday was obviously to the goat, Big Daddy Kane. Isn't it Labor Day? This guy. Yeah. Tomorrow yeah. for for me at least. Uh, all I know is I have a day off tomorrow, so I'm making music, burgers, Same. and playing games. Yeet. 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 I have like, uh, just side note, just a little bit in John D's world. I made. I'm trying to make 20 beats just to make 20. I'm at 12. <laughs> I've just been I'm making at- beats, and I recorded to six of them. I'm cooking. I'm on my shit right now. I'm in my bag. I'm rapping about. I'm, I'm just gonna have Don Dada going off on the track right now. That's all I'm on. Cooking in the kitchen. I have my first rap. No, I've got two tracks working right now. Ooh, okay. 
So, oh, we got We got to get Don Dada on here so he can just freestyle for a bit. No, what I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you, I got this stuff premeditated. I'm trying to get him a little comeback. Give him, yo, if you give him like a solid four to five song EP, that'd be a nice little comeback. I'm, I'm going to. That's what. That's what the. You, like I said, we'll talk about that. I don't want to let anybody know what's up. You know. Facts. I'll edit silence. this out, boy. We moving in silence over here. Lasagna. All right, real, real jeans. Silence like lasagna. Fact. Lasagna. 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 Fact. So he's like the comma. You never hear him to just keep going. You good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, so who's this? we had the fact. I don't have a soundboard because you know Walko d- deleted everything. But um, so Big Daddy Kane, Long Live the Kane. <laughs> so this project was released when I was born, and this project's fire. This is honestly yeah, this two years before I was born. Kane was like pushed you had to blow on dust me. dust off this picture before you post it. What happened? <laughs> you had to blow dust off this picture before you posted it. <laughs> nah, the swag, bro. <laughs> Bitches is feeding him grapes and fucking green apples. Nah, this this project's fire though. Like I, m- growing up, I always had like my uncles and them always pushed Kane on me. So like, but that sounds terrible. But uh, he's the goat. He's the only, the only person that I was like back in the day. I was like, yo, he he'd give Rock him a run for his money. But you know, that's neither here. That's like a hip hop head. That, that's just just that's just how I feel. Let me have feelings. Yeah. All right? Nah, Big Daddy King's out here, bro. Facts. Yeah, but we're still, about still, Rakim, he'd cook Rock him right now, right now, uh, right now, uh, right now, right now. He'd, uh, he'd drop a robot. It right. Cook him. It'd be a close one. Nah, body bag. He would put <laughs> Rock him's body bag in a body bag. All right. Not even. <laughs> they would find pieces of him in the harbor. Fact. He would cook. He, he would grow hair, give him a fade, and then cut it all off. <laughs> Playing with Big Daddy Kane like that. <laughs> so the next project was one the most the most. Hey guys, I'm battle rapping now. Mostly title ever. The fucking I said yo by Mickey Fax. Come on, bro. This project is gas. <laughs> He is just right. He raps too much. Raps I'm gonna say this. He has too many raps. I'm gonna say that right now. That's a fact. This is like some shit. If you played this in front of like a new age fan, they would start melting, bro. Like this is too much fucking raps for them to understand. <laughs> Especially the when it's just start smoking. Too. Oh man, over like when he has like a few tracks over like some classic hip hop beats, that their would jewel would explode fuck in their people hand. up. Oh, like, yeah. Where's the Metro? Is the Metro gonna drop yet? Is the Metro blooming? <laughs> Fact. No 808s. Uh, uh. This shit is dangerous, bro. This he's rapping his ass off. Anybody else get to check this out? Cause this shit, I listened this, to it and I was over rap. Gas- I was over rap for a day. I was like, I don't want to listen to rap for the rest of the day. <laughs> I was over it. Ass- Too much. I'm done. Gas- oh yeah. It's New York as fuck. I Fact. Play Black Timberlands. <laughs> Old school North Face jacket, you know what I mean? It's, it's one of those. This albums. one I was uh, I went and listened to the fire truck. Oh yeah, he's rapping. <laughs> I just went directly to the fire truck. He's rapping, bro. This this makes me wonder why he didn't blow up after his um double XL because he was on the double XL. Yeah. I don't, dude, he's he's been around for so long and he's been mm-hmm. he's been like always been like a New York name that everyone knew. And he did his thing. He's been in the battle world. Like, he rapped way back in the day. He yeah. came back. He did, Um, you know what I'm saying? He's been rapping for a minute. It's just he never gets to that point where everyone's talking about You know what I'm saying? Like, he's always, like, in that realm of, like, maybe two steps below, like, Papoose. Kind of. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I well, don't know, he's man. On, he's on tour with Lupe right now. I, I got to see him when That's he came cool. to Portland. He's fire live. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's why. Yeah. He's fire live. He's but he's but the thing is, there has like my whole like just being a fan of like hip hop period, like and just being a part of going to shows and all that shit. He's always been making moves. Yeah, he's just always around. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been like regular hip hop shows, battle rap shows and shit like that. He's always around. But I mean, yo, he he grilled daylight. I, he fucked yo, he fucked daylight up. Yo. Bad, bad. Stop hated that. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? Daylight dodged a bullet because it was at. Like a king of the dot. If it was in New York, mm-hmm. around a bunch of ignorant ass New Yorkers, it would have been worse. But tis what tis. So the next project was actually um, was one uh, requested by uh, this dude, a Drew t- Drew Two Game Eighty Two. This dude was just like, "Yo, you need to check this I dude like out." The cover. Dude from Detroit, blah blah blah. This is actually 
he this is part two he released two this year the it's called no cosign <laughs> no just cosine, cocaine just two cocaine. <laughs> Far- Faris wonder drug his name is ty Ferris. so he released part one early I think in I did the year the first one. i don't think we ever did it it was on the list though the fact that he even got conway on here though well he's apparently he's apparently been like buzzing in detroit you know what i'm saying like and i don't know i've never heard of him but this dude mentioned him to me and i looked him up and i'm like yo his name actually is getting around but he he's type nice like he's very simple like he's he's not like nothing crazy but it's very clean polished just dope rap you know what i'm saying it's something you could put on you don't you don't care about you just like yo i'm chilling you know what i'm saying He's not. He don't got like his voice is dope. His voice is cold. He got some bars, but it's nothing like crazy. Like he hasn't stepped out of his. That's how I feel about Tara. Yet. About Tara Parker, like his shit is dope, mm. but it's not like crazy deep. Yeah, I need it's him to step it good, up. Good, good rap. Yeah, exactly. It's just good shit. You just, you just want to bump it. This project's dope, though. The, I want to listen to the first one. This project's dope. It's got some names on it, for sure. Yeah, that's what I was I was sitting here reading the the features and shit. I'm like, oh yeah, shit. yeah. It's not yeah. This I I, I enjoyed this. It's crazy because it was like this was gonna be a SoundCloud, but then it like after I did the 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 fucking it was on like um what's that uh Bandcamp and then like two days after he was like uh, he announced it because I added him online. He's like, oh yeah, it's on all streaming. I was like, oh, you dodged that bullet. You've been putting that bag with them weirdos. So speaking of them weirdos, yep. I trolled the shit out of them with that post after that. <laughs> Dude, those slander posts get loved. You, you know what'd be funny about their shit? It'd be it'd be all the the SoundCloud rappers that like we've reviewed that like it too. Masochists. Yeah, because they're like, you got me. You masochists. <laughs> you got <laughs> exactly like me. They're like, well, I didn't get my face tattoo yet, so if I like this, maybe he won't categorize me yet. Got Fucking. <laughs> so, then we kicked into Friday. Yo, on a yo on a whim, bro. It was like. It was early in the morning, and I was just like, "Oh, I saw this tweet, and I was dying." So I screenshotted Bro, you were on it, screenshotted it, posted it, and then next thing you know, it's like at five hundred likes, and I'm like, "What is happening right now?" And I'm like, "And it just didn't stop." That, that post killed my phone. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was going nuts. And then the comments. Then you got the the we all know because he he birthed the words. So the original stands. And then we got the actual butt hurt, like fucking hate, like the true haters, bro. It's terrible. Dude. Like, I feel I, I've never realized how bad Eminem haters are until oh so now. Oh my god! You know what it is? This is what this is what it is. And fuck the sidebar. People don't. These new yeah. These new these new cats. They just don't <laughs> like that someone's not fucking popular via like the clout wave they don't like people who are like popular from building their name from back in the day coming in and just being popular like they don't like these dudes because they're like oh i don't know these guys so why is he popular so it's like the young kid mentality like well i don't like him now so it just doesn't make sense bro like these fucking kids to me i'm just gonna put this out there i'm gonna say it once i'm not gonna get triggered today you know how i get when i talk about these young dumbass artists if you are an artist (laughs) And you cannot do a quarter of what this man can do just on, and via pen. I'm not talking about numbers, no, no, no cop out shit like that. Just via pen, via lyricism, via like the way he delivers it, via how funny I, it is. If you can't do it, then shut up. Period. No, nah, hold on, pause. No, I ahead. feel like when you hit like astronomical numbers, they should come into play. No, 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 no. That but, does matter. No, not even because, that like, though. Like the numbers, his numbers untouchable. That's well, like, fine. Lil Pump's got like doesn't Lil Pump have a platinum record? Yep. That don't mean shit. So okay, so but well, exactly, but, that don't mean shit because it's Pump with one li- one platinum record. Yeah, uh, no, but I'm just saying. I'm talking about how many platinum oh, albums? Get, I'm talking about no name artists though. Like I'm talking diamond. about Eminem's gone diamond. I'm talking about like little oh, little young little young Dr. Seuss on SoundCloud. Like these bum ass yeah. kids. I'm saying that. But them. I feel like the numbers do kind of when it's that like when it's <clears> that because you know like, what? I'm not going to give them little Pump. Then the numbers don't matter. But see but now you're 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 criticizing the numbers. You ain't shit. And not even that. There, I'm not even saying that. Rap your ass. I'm saying it on a skill no, level. I'm like both. I'm saying, ignore the numbers. I'm saying they can't even do a quarter of just what, him breathing. Like you know they what I'm saying? They can't do any yeah, of that. Yeah, but not. The I'm numbers is, blows them to dust, so we don't want skill, them to think about it. He did the numbers, but they don't have the skill or the numbers. Well, That's is, what I'm saying. Which is a fact. The numbers thing is never going to happen for them, and I get that. So I'm going to give them a no, fair no shot, way. and I'm going to say that. If they can do anything close to write something or write, give them, I'll give them one song. If they can write one song better than anything that that man has ever put out, 
better than a hook he's put out. You know what I'm saying? Better than like a verse he's put out. Then I'll then I'll say because his hooks are hard. Oh, his hooks do be trash. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, a verse. Yeah. But we'll go with a verse. <laughs> then a verse. Little pump will beat him with that. Little pump will beat Gucci him with gang, that. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Nah, but better than a it verse. Better than it's in the world. But it's in the world. <laughs> But like better than one verse of his. That's what I'm saying. Because Wait, I think Adam wants to say something. Oh god, can I jump in as the like the in-house millennial now? We all sounding some old heads right now. So <laughs> facts. All right. I think I think like if you're if you can rap and like you want to rap, just do it. But be able to defend yourself lyrically if someone does step up to you. Like that's how I feel about it. So like if you're making you know SoundCloud you know, crooning music, go for it. But if someone is willing to step up to you, like be able to defend yourself with just basic rhyme schemes, but you can clap back. You know, you don't need to just throw a word salad at people. <laughs> I agree. No, don't but take see, the, don't try and take the <clears throat> high end approach like low pump and little like yachty, but like oh, nah, but see, that's everybody the thing. Be, see me, I don't believe in that. Everybody like, should be more like fathead. <laughs> there you go. Actually, fat, 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 I actually just sent a post to you guys. He did a Uchi Wally Wally. Uh, oh, oh, Lord. Oh. oh, we'll do that. Oh, we gotta oh, get to that later. Oh. Nah, but like, but speaking of that, like, I get the, I get the whole, you know, you want to make music, make music. But I'm just saying, as an artist, like, if you're part of a, this is a, like, the the music world is a gauntlet, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a fucking, it's it's warriors. You're all warriors. You're all part of a certain world. If you swing a fucking sword and you see a dude swinging an axe don't say yo he's swinging that axe wrong unless you could swing the axe yourself you feel me oh we, I, yeah, definitely, I definitely that's agree with that's that. where yeah that's where i, I get don't. pissed i think that these artists that were like oh, i that, know what you're trying to say john but that was a bad analogy well, that's a great so fucking you, analogy because it's two different weapons well you're, you no, can't swing an axe the same way you swing a sword yeah well, but if i'm a, if i'm a master swordsman and you're a master axe swinger and you make a mistake, I should this be able to spot him. <laughs> he's going. He's getting too deep into it. He's getting too deep into it. If you said if a filmmaker is critiquing a painter, <laughs> okay, all right, Walco, give us yours. Give us yours. I'm saying like you got like two different jobs. You know, like if, if as a as a guy who's a painter, if I've never listened to rap music before, and then I listen to something and go, oh, this is trash. No, right, you're, 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 no, 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 I'm talking about artists, bro. I'm talking about, I'm talking about artists. It's, you're a warrior. That's why I'm using swords and axes, bro. You're a warrior. You should have used, like, a wood sword. Yeah. <laughs> That's really, way too deep. Sword, That's way real too real Now you just don't make, walk or you don't make no damn sense. You're just talking now. You're just talking to talk. <laughs> it's the same, I'm saying this, if you, to write raps, you write, you put your fucking pen on paper. You write, you got flows with it, you got schemes and all sorts of things in your arsenal. If you can't have as many as M can, you can't judge how he does his if you are an artist just like him. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Is that and clear? That the whole thing is just me and you agree. I'm huh? just nitpicking you. I know. You just saw some fuck shit. I'm just nitpicking you. You saw some fuck shit. I'm about to activate that virus on that computer I sent you as. <laughs> it just sets on fire but yeah now nah, that shit pisses me off when artists try to like judge artists but like they can't even do anything you know what i'm saying like if you but have never spit a punchline back to him he knows that he oh, knows yeah, that. i hope somebody does i hope some of those i hope somebody joe class but but so far, all the soundcloud people said. yeah if joe Bunn is not gonna do it no one's gonna do it yeah, and Joe, Joe was the and Yachty only already took guy. it like a bitch. He was like, "Oh, it's oh, he I'm fanboyed it heavy. He did it the way anyone yeah. from this new age would do it." And Pump no, already Pump sat down like... and had a conversation with Cole, as opposed oh, yeah, to actually Pump's going to war out. with them. So there's no way he's going to war with them. Oh yeah, because they yeah, well, at least no, they Pump know better. Like, Thanks, guy. I needed it. Yeah, they know better. What but, and did Eminem start this whole MGK versus GEZ shit? <laughs> I think so. Oh. Like I mean, he, since they both dyed their hair, since they dyed their hair blonde, I'm gonna assume yes. <laughs> Yo, I swore Jeez. that was fucking Aaron Carter that day, bro. Did you throw Aaron Carter into the beef too, just because he also looked like him? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Aaron. What happened to Aaron Carter? Dan versus Dan. He's out here. Candy. He's out here getting uh, getting slandered by Selena Powell. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, moving on after our, our viral post, because it's still getting likes, which is wild. It's still getting fucking crazy. I don't get it, but, yeah, it's almost at, <laughs> almost at 1100. You did something right. Yeah, dude, and out of nowhere. And I was like, well, that's happening, so I just let it rock. But, um, 
so we did our fr- the I did the the Friday the face off Friday, which is pretty much M versus everyone. This is all the people you know he was beefing with and all that shit, and that actually went pretty well. A lot of people actually were you know on shady side, even though all the SoundCloud rappers <laughs> weren't. But I mean, it's still there was more regular humans, I guess, against it. So I'll give them that. But um, regular humans. <laughs> I don't consider SoundCloud kids. I don't consider them. They're the they're the the participation the partition participation award kids. I'm not I'm not giving them any special ed class. Yeah, not even. I wouldn't even disrespect special ed like that. But um, they're like the cosmetology class. So we got the first review. Nah, I nah, feel my wife's a cosmetologist. Oh, yo, yo, I still actually I can't even say I take that back because I still love the cosmetology class. They used to like love shampooing my hair, and that shit is exactly watch it. It's a thing. All right, so. The review, because I know I know Adam's been waiting for this clap back. He got his Arthur fist going on. This is uh, Kamikaze. This is Eminem's surprise album that he dropped on oh, Friday. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's here to talk. He's here to defend oh. the youth in House Millennial. Oh, what's the matter? Uh, what's wrong, young head? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. Well, just talk about your end. You, you talked about. You explain why you gave it an eight. I didn't, I didn't review it. Because it was fire. Ooh. It was me. Oh, hit us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talk that, talk that, talk that. Did you read the review? I mean, it just, like, I, there was, there's, like, there's like if you, okay, the hook's kind of eh for me, but to hear him, he's got he's got fire in him again. I, I used to be a huge Eminem fan, but he's majorly disappointed me to the point where he, he wasn't even in my top ten, like, really, for a while, because I was like, nah, like, you fucked up. Because he's just putting out trash. And I was like, I can't deal with this. And then to hear this M again is very exciting. And also, you got to understand, if we always give first listen reviews. Oh, I maybe would have given this a seven on like a second listen through because I got super hyped. But I still stand by my rating. I, that's the way I felt when I listened to it. That's the way that's, it is. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, all right. I listened to like this maybe like five or six times. Um and I, all right, so I'll, I'll talk about like the things I didn't like. So normal, which one you gave, you said it was okay, and then the tracks fall, which you gave like a thumbs up. I think those are the worst tracks. Uh, I the agree. beat, the beats sound like they're straight up like gotten <laughs> off like YouTube to MP3. Yeah, it's weird. So oh, like, if you even look in the review, I said it's like it's like it was cobbled together. Like yeah. some of them just feel like <laughs> they were just tossed together. Like here you go. Eh. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, some of these reviews I was a little off on. I think Stepping Stone deserved a fire, <laughs> for sure. If not yeah, a fire like truck. I love that. I think. Well, I gave it the waves because it, it you know, it was, it it, was a it, vibe it was song, but it cut me deep. He was t- he was talking some shit that we yeah. wanted to know for a minute. That's like, why I got yeah. the waves. The whole D twelve thing. I like yeah. love I it. Stepping Stone could be taken as a diss track towards D twelve if you think about it. But it wasn't no, even that though. He was explaining his situation with them. Like I love that. Explain what happened. He kind of yeah. said he kind of said they were they ain't shit since Proof died. Because well, they're, they're no, no, no. no. Man, they, he was they, saying he he said it was a group them. of dudes just waiting for one of them to blow. One of them that like he did blow, and then he used them as a, like he was saying someone was going to use someone as a stepping stone. But after Proof died, he was like the group broke up. That just is what it is. Like. I mean that's a it's a real yeah, song. It's a very working. real it's a real narrative, man. I, I, I like it. I, I don't think it was saying, a diss. You know, it could be fake, sorry, it? sorry, wait, hold on, wait, wait, Adam, finish. Oh, so the so okay, so like lyrically and technically it's like phenomenal. Like you can't get better than this, right? But he just sounds like so bitter and instead of admitting yeah. that he did release a bad album, he just goes ahead and hates on everyone else for like criticizing his album. Uh, I disagree. Right. Threw it out, I disagree. I feel like he definitely sprinkled in some like I fucked up. No, he 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 it's said it. He right. said it. He said it a bunch album. of times that he put out a bad album, and he he even admitted yeah. to being bitter. So like to, to to make a criticism for something he admits in there, I don't think that's I don't think that works. But then why does he yeah. still hate yeah. on everyone else? Like why does he still because that's because what, that's because that's, that's M because that's what M that's does. What does. That's his game. That's what, he's, that's what he's always done. You said beef with think. Yeah, Eminem yeah, has always been bitter. Eminem came out. Being he a was bitter because he was a he was a white out. rapper back Bobby. in the day. Like he, one during that time, it was hard. Yeah, his anger makes him better. Yeah, it really does. You gotta remember. That's why I was saying I was happy to hear a fire in him again. 
but he and he also he he if you like after like my third or fourth not even like I, I listened to this like three or four times when I got to like my second or third I started really hearing things that like really stood out like he talks about like how he's uncomfortable winning again you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he's, there's, some, there's some real shit. Because his whole career was yeah, like, yeah. even though he did blow up and do great things, all he was doing was battling against the masses. Like, he was battling people trying to get his music taken off. He was battling everybody saying, yo, you're a white rapper. He was battling pop. He was battling beef. He was battling, you know what I'm saying? Like, so right. he, his career is bitter. So it's like, if you're expecting something different, then that kind of puts you in, like, like what bubble are you in? Like, what are you listening to M4? But. See, that's the context thing, though. Because how, Adam, how old are you? I'm 20. Oh, You're 20. Shit. Yes, so, sir. you got to understand when Adam really started not listening to Eminem, but like when he started to, like, you know, actually yeah, process the shit. Because we all listen to music when we're kids, but we don't understand it. And then, facts. That, by that time, Em had already started to kind of lose steam, and he was just kind of legendary for being legendary. And you have to go back and research all that shit. Mm -hmm. So, it's not. You're going back and listening to all the fire out of context. So we also have to factor in that nostalgia factor for us. Yeah. Because we were, a lot of the shit, like the whole shit with D12, that song, when he's talking about that shit, we were all conscious of D12 during that per time, whereas yeah. Adam may not have been. Right. And then he kind of like retroactively found out about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So that's, it's, that's it's a different cool. context for us. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely that's two different. It's but that's the that's the ongoing war between like old heads and new between heads. old heads and young. Yeah, heads. The, yeah, the the old heads it, we're we're aggressive and we're we're defensive because we come from an era where you had to fight for things, and then the new age yeah. guys are you more like some nice. some people call it toxic masculinity. You know, you yeah. Know. Oh, facts. No, but, you, no, but not even that though. Like you know, it's just that's just the way of the like. You think they're just gonna fucking give LeBron a championship? Nah, bro. You gotta earn the shit. You gotta play bro, for it. Too. You had these, to be good. You like, look you at the work yeah. Work, these bro. a lot of the reasons we we don't. It's not like we hate the new age stuff. It's just yeah, we don't like the attitude the, that's where of the like. Gets skewed though is because <laughs> what we think is good and what they think is good. Is not the same. Well, see, and who we controls can, yeah, the market, guys? Exactly. Oh, yeah, which is, well, I mean, we know who controls the market. market is some old white guy in an office, but. Um, who is fucking grinding haunted. metal right now? Bruh, hold up. I don't know. Is that, is that Adam? He's coming. <laughs> he better come back with a banana cognac, bitch. I am. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, but like, a lot of the things like. Like me, I love I love competition. I, 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 I am I am a, you know part of the whole toxic masculinity. But like whatever, it's the gauntlet. It's the world of hip hop that we love. I also I do believe in the whole yeah hey I'm having fun I'm making fun music. But when it's an excuse to pick and choose, that's where I get pissed off. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to get it across the board. You either gonna you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, no nah, mass appeal is important. Right. Yeah. So like that to me is like annoying. Like that that's that's what gets me going. But like. That this M for the people who liked M, this is this is the M that we wanted. This is the M that we know. This is, but this Wait. is also him representing yeah. him fighting for the culture that we re, we we love and respect. So that's what? why I will never give a like some new ager who doesn't pay homage to the old that kind of respect because they they're ruining it. They're ruining the culture without the respect. It's not saying that the music is terrible. This and that. No, it's the it's the attitude. It's the. You know what I'm saying? It's the lack of homage. It's the lack of respect. That's that's what gets annoying, you know? Yeah, that that was some gems, my man. Wow. <laughs> I'm here. I bro, I see that's you like have so much context with that and I'm just out here like, hey, oh, the hook doesn't sound good. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and and never wrote hooks. I don't know exactly <laughs> yeah. that, He needs to the thing is, is we've been that like Eminem did. this album is really for Eminem fans. Like that. Yeah. Because right. We we know the plot line, like we know what's happening. Yeah. So when he talks about that shit, it connects. Yeah. It's like a soap opera. Exactly. And it brings it's us like a, back. Like a, yep. It, it the gave, thing is that also, if we look at the raps, the raps nowadays compared to like the old days, they all nowadays it's just they just put out any random shit just to sound good. Older yeah. raps, yeah. rappers and stuff, they all had stories and actually context to go with them. Well, now the story's not in. Now the story's not in the music; it's in the social media. Yeah. So that's where the. But soap even opera then, like even then, song. like it's very yeah. cookie cut. I like it's 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 a different kind of story now too. It's weird. Well, you yeah, know? because it's the music is now a byproduct to their personality. Yeah. As opposed to their personality being in the music, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I mean, that's it, why you so, get the Takashi's now. Where like the music <laughs> is it bangs, but it's substantially. There's nothing there, but he'd no be music. all over 
It's social media talking good shit, bad shit, He's left, right, up, yeah. down. You know He's what I'm saying? Mess. He's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> he is absolutely. So I saw, um, I saw something that uh, someone said was that the reason why this album was getting talked about was because Eminem took the same route as Nicki. Uh, dissing everybody, do you I agree that? Oh, yeah, she agree did that, that shit for one song. He did it for forty minutes. Yeah. But see, the thing is, like, <laughs> it's literally all. It's all Eminem has ever done. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, if I, I, no, I like, as my, yeah. I'm not trying to slander him, but he's a one trick pony in that sense. You know, like he just comes at people with his. He has the elements of his pen. Is fucking. He could do whatever he wants yeah. with his pen, but he uses it. Yeah. to just get at people that's what he's been doing the whole last album was just him doing that at the president and the state that, like you know the state that the u.s is in like that's what he was doing that's and all it he didn't does. click with the youth because you know, they man, don't I, give a fuck <laughs> they don't but i respect that like as a person of color that shit is incredible yeah. like that he's actually using his voice yeah which is do- which is crazy that people slandered that because then because mm-hmm. there were some people like all right we get it. Like the if you understand, yeah, I love that, how he kept getting called a culture vulture. Yeah, and it's crazy because like Eminem, he was standing up for he was literally standing up, and like a lot of like celebrities in general don't do that. He he took it to a no, freestyle that was on TV that and that like, he 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 definitely deserves a little more respect than people give him. But it is what it is. The one thing that I I will say uh, just because I don't want to stay on this for like another thirty minutes, <laughs> the fact that people are the thing that's pissed me off the most about this is the fact that people are trying to say that he's irrelevant. Oh. So this album sold never, like two hundred k. So it's he's not even, relevant. but it's not even that. Like the fact that people are going out of their way to say that Eminem is irrelevant to put him in their mouths shows that he's not irrelevant. You know what but, I'm saying? But the, all the people who say that are like, you know, um, what is it? What's his name? Tyler the Creator, like fanboys, you know, because oh, yeah. he called him, you know, that. Which is funny because Tyler once said that M was his favorite rapper. <laughs> yeah, oh, I saw that tweet. <laughs> so yeah. it's like th- th- these kids don't even know they don't even know their own favorite rappers past. <laughs> it's insane. They don't even know, bro. Because that's just, the whole shit. People soft. don't pay attention no more. Yeah, it's soft. And that, like, I hate that shit. They're like, oh, he's irrelevant. Like, I had someone literally make a whole Facebook post. Yo, he's irrelevant. It's like, bro, you just posted about him. How irrelevant is he? If he's your whole timeline, including you. That's what drives me wild. It's crazy. That's what drives me wild. It's like, (laughs) but it's not even. It's like, yo, you're saying his name. Like, if you didn't like someone, would you ever say their name? Would you ever talk about them? The fact that people use the word Stan, like JP just said. Fact. Stan. Everybody uses that. Fact. Because of Eminem, Eminem is the culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a difference between being someone that like, oh, the music is not. This dude breathes, and it's on everyone's. T- I made a post. Uh, I stole someone's picture on Twitter, and it hit a thousand. And we don't even yeah, know you that many. Screenshot of the tweet, <laughs> and it went viral. Like what the fuck? <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. Like, I, people are just fucking stupid. If you think he's irrelevant, but you're still thinking about him, you're an idiot. Just. I don't know. If it, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Moving I get on. It. Moving on. We're, we're really old heading it right now. Oh, yeah, it's a fact. <laughs> Got to teach these kids somehow. So next project we did is no no disrespect to him, but he's definitely ba- like a you know you could see the M in him. <laughs> but uh, NK 47s project, the- my own lane. This project this project's dope. M- you know NK is yeah, it's M- not bad. Yeah, it's it's a really good project. It's very uh, I don't like to categorize people to a certain extent, but it's very NF ish you know kind of feeling a little bit like. Uh huh. He's got that. He's got a little bit well, of that swag. It sounds, like his, it sounds like his first release, but a little bit better. Yeah, and it's it, and it's dope. It's very dope. He's he definitely he hits some personal notes. He's got some vibes. The dude can rap. He has voice. He has presence. He's dope. He's all around. He's a dope artist. And he, the, this project is solid, bro. Like salute to him. This is his first like album, I believe. And oh, this oh. is a solid fucking album to put out for your. He first was telling nice about it too. He's like, oh, I'll shoot for a ten. 10 out of 10 oh yeah he yeah he, he actually me- he messaged us too he like messaged me he like he's like bro he's like i really appreciate you guys are honest he's like i'm glad you guys didn't just like yes man it but he's like but please believe i'm shooting for eight minimum next time <laughs> and i was like i respect that yeah exactly hey, but that's how you gotta what? be you gotta invest in yourself yeah i respect that and that's why this kid I, dude i see him he's fucking going live on instagram with his fans for hours he's messaging everybody he's yeah. commenting on everything He's putting in mad work, and I respect that, bro. Like, keep fucking working, bro. Keep grinding, bro. Like, salute to him, man. But this project's dope, man. Definitely go check it out. Uh, the fucking the cover's weird, man. Him with the blue hair and his fucking eye. I, I covered his yeah. eye because it made me uncomfortable, so I covered the eye. He can rap, but he's kind of goofy looking. <laughs> this is coming from a goofy looking dude, so I can say that. that goofy people Wait, unite. So who blocked who? Oh, yeah. Speak about that. Well, I'm so confused. 
Oh, Kato? Wait, what? The Kato thing? I don't oh, know. Yeah. He just he, he just blocked, blocked us. us. Because we did, no, because we did. He did the Creek Con album. The what? That Creek Con album or whatever. No way. I'm pretty sure. No oh, did we say something about way. the production or something? And I, I, I cooked the production. Wait, 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 wait. I thought Creekon was like some random, like, like SoundCloud kid. Nah, nigga. That's a known artist. I'm pretty sure. No way. Wow. You might have to do your Googles. Ah, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm looking for the review right now. Oh it's my three hours. No, no, you just, the, dude, the quick way, I don't know if you guys do it that way. The quick way to find our reviews, if you just go to the artist page and like their tagged pictures, we're in there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, how, yeah, was it Creekon? CR, <laughs> yeah, it's the easy, I got Creekon music. No, there's no way he did this. Dude has 85 followers, bro. There's no way. <laughs> dude, we're the, we're, the, we're the fourth, we're the fourth, I'm sorry, I don't mean to like pull, but we're like the fourth picture in his tagged thing. Like, come on, bro, there's no way. Yo, you, you, you gave this a zero, M. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you use the world's down. biggest word. Does anyone have a good otolaryngologist? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oncologist? Is that what you use? No, no, bigger. No. O <laughs> oto laring laring ologist. There we go. Oto laryngologist. <laughs> Biggest word ever. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Yeah, it can't be that good. <laughs> but yeah, we don't we don't fully know why um he blocked us, but uh Yeah. Yeah, he just like randomly and then didn't we I feel like I sent one of you guys to message him and he's just like he said something like, Well, they shouldn't have been No, no, I messaged him, I think on my personal and he's like, Well, they shouldn't have been saying something or some shit and I was like, What? LC is the baby. <laughs> Fuck him. You should have said it on the baby. <laughs> Welcome to the block list. Where it's like it's not like it was a three out of ten. Fucking sucker. I think the only other project that he might have been on was the. Um, I think he did like two or three tracks on the one week's notice. But um, Demrick projects. The, the the and everyone yeah I think he did a few of those too. Fuck Here let's let's just stop giving them attention. Start <laughs> talking about them. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, Fuck but anyways, him. Kato, if if anybody knows or ask him or you talk to him, but you know, just ask why he yeah, blocked us. If you can find out why he blocked us, yeah, that'd that'd be fantastic. Tag. So tag it, yeah, tag Kato. The next project was uh, Return of the Trill by Bun B. <sighs> <sighs> project of the day. Project, project of the day. It was the project of Friday. It definitely, it blew. Like it felt good. Yeah, too good. Three good. diamonds. That's a new record. <laughs> yeah, three that's a fact. And all three of them deserve diamonds. Oh, so I had someone oh, message me today. The, what does that camera mean? What is the video thing? It was like a movie, you know. Oh, what we mean? had the same question, John. All right, yeah, that's right. Because like, like, you know, because Pimp C was like, you know, he had a little Pimp C ad libs to it, so it's like okay. a clip. Like, you know what I mean? It was nice to hear it. Well, it was as like, a you know, gotta, as a reader, we don't know what that means. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Sprinkle in some emojis. We know what the fuck they mean. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> but yes, yeah, yeah. Someone asked me. My homegirl Susie was like, "Hey, what the fuck does that mean?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's usually a movie clip." And then she's like, "Yeah, but someone used it on this song." And I'm like, "I don't know. Ask him." <laughs> I'm over it. No. But this project's fire. That last song. Oh man, my man Leon getting his hang on. Oh, this project's dope. Who else? Did, JP, it. JP, do you listen to this? I know you love this album. I didn't even realize yeah, didn't there was this many features on it. You're gonna love it. I've been listening to it soon. Adam, listen to it soon. Adam been did you did you bump this yet, Adam? No, I know he, it's no, not he's, a red channel. He's, he's too okay. busy bumping Drake. Thank yeah, you, not Adam. Oh, <laughs> so that too. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, oh. Adam. Oh, don't do no, this. What's wrong with Drake? Everything. Nothing. I, I still haven't listened to the Scorpion album for the second time. I listen to Scorpion yeah. album once a day. Stop he actually it. fixed it. He like remastered it and like fixed up a couple verses. So. Yeah. And a lot better. I'm so but still trash. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, kick this guy <laughs> off here. What are you doing? <laughs> Tony, oh, that was oh, good. Get the you strap. Excited. Oh, yeah. Man, you gotta blow out those I candles. I you was one of us, Adam. We are gonna talk about this off air. Right, y'all, y'all are your disrespecting Young Thug in, in French Montana. Nah, nah, they I'm slander him. I don't know why. I'm the only one that does that. Don't, they slander him, and I am a French thugger. and a Thugger I, fan. Thugger is trash. I'm a thugger You're fan. crazy. You disrespect me, Bond, You're Diddy. crazy. Bro, that's, that's and a And I even gave the last can't. album a check. Facts. So you're a Thugger fan now. Welcome. Thug, oh. I'm not a fan. The last album was sonically okay, so I gave it a chance. Yeah, sonically <laughs> a fan. Yeah, yeah, 
Yo, yo, Adam, you're gonna blame your you gotta blame your age range for that too, using sonically as far as Son- describing oh, shit. Bro. Everybody's using that word. <laughs> Man, sonically, sonic musically, uh, classic, <laughs> lit. Uh, what else we add to the <laughs> Using pile? Stan but uh-huh. hating Eminem. Uh-huh. <laughs> Same. Stan, Stan's another one. Fuck. But hating Eminem, you know the usual. Yeah, it never make any sense. But uh, speaking of those, um, the 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 voice of the in-house millennials. The we got Ooh. some sound clouds happening. So sound right. clouds Saturday. Oof. Here we go. Oh. I was there. The worst, the worst Saturdays. Well. First one. This name is clever for the album. Smoke and word. I'm okay with that. By wow. slurry. <laughs> Ooh. Is that a is that a V for an A in there? Yep. Wizard. Wiz, wizard. Classic. How would you? Classic. Wizard block. Blivuk. Slurry and wizard blivuk. <laughs> I know it's weird, but it that's still a, looks like shit. Wow. So that's His an name, A. Black, if you yeah. pronounce that, if you pronounce that phonetically, that's the sound you make when you throw up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this one was rough, man. I did not, I didn't, I didn't really like it. I mean, there was Bro. some stuff in there, but it's very the rapping was the worst part. This um, is trash. I'm reading this shit. This is so funny. <laughs> Unsweetened tea. tea. It's a, it's a true statement, though. Weirdos that might like facts. it. That's a true statement, man. But normal people wonder why it exists while also knowing it could be a good <laughs> fact. I feel like we should start reading our reviews over, like, on the podcast. Nah, 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 nah. They <laughs> need to go enjoy. They need to enjoy our, our fucking craft, all right? We put work into this. All right, it's hard Even to just slander people. Even some of the green people. checks be good. Bro, get, get M to, like, produce something and then wrap it. Wrap your, <laughs> your reviews over <laughs> M production. Dude, you think if we reached out to Thaddeus, he would wrap our reviews? <laughs> oh, facts. Yo, oh, no. Yo, 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 hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I... I'm going to see. So, the next project was... Uh, it was Pretty Lies by MKHL. I'm going to try it, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> so four tracks did give me the hope. <laughs> I can't. Do I gotta start sweating. I gotta start sweating. I gotta turn off all the AC. <laughs> no, we gotta, we gotta start off with the oh, you yeah. With the yeah. Turn the oven on and just open the door. <laughs> Wrap from the with oven. The oven on. With the slippers on. <laughs> from the oven yeah. so you get real hot. <laughs> Dude, we gotta send him a check. We, we gotta send him. I'm gonna get his his cash app. Every time we mention him, I'm gonna send him twenty cents. <laughs> you gotta mention another podcast again. Here you go. Here's your ad revenue. Bro, I'll do that. Napoleon the Legend would be a rich by now. Yo, oh that's my a god, fact, bro. Yo, you know he put out something else. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> you know he put out something else. Oh, and it's fire. Shit. Sure. Oh, uh, yeah. fire again. Who's reviewing it this time? No, we did. We already got someone already. Yeah, reviewed it. His Jasmine Taz album. Oh, okay. Out oh, the Jasmine Taz. Yeah, that one's coming out soon, dude. I'm, I'm, pred- I predict. I'm trying to get that early. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? <laughs> he did, he did the Guru. He redid the Guru. Shit. That's gonna be Yo, too fun. I can't wait to hear that shit, man. To hate on it, right? Yo, I can't believe that Tupacrophy one was good. I thought that was gonna be just because like, you can't do. Yeah, you can't do Tupac or... justice, and he killed it. Well, nah, he killed it. He killed it. It's crazy. He killed it. Totally killed it. But anyways, it. let's not mention him because he didn't uh, put anything again. out. Here we go again. Yeah, I know. We love him. It's weird. Oh, wait. Is this the dude that was slandering us in our comments? Cool. Yeah, he was talking. So I did his first project, and I hated it. And then um, we had uh, Barrett did this project, and Barrett hated it. So this dude, he was slandering. This dude was slandering Eminem. Yo, Barrett's review though. Oh my god. Dude, his review is great, but like it doesn't match up with his emojis, but it's still hysterical. I don't know that dump st- the dump truck does have a lot of weight, but there is a lot of okay. Everything else is okay everything else is weight. good. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but it is what it is. So <laughs> for like the review, he just wanted to slander. He slandered to slander, which is okay sometimes. I'm okay with it because it still makes sense. But um, this project's alright. This is yeah. the one that the dude was like, because I didn't like his first project. He's like, oh, it's very singy. But this other project I put out, it's very rappy. It's not. It's just him repeating the hook. But um, it was meh. So. Then the next project, the one I did, was uh, Throwing Stones at Glass Houses by Atomic. Now, this dude, I gave him some real, real criticism. I gave him some real criticism, though. I may have roasted a little, joked a little bit, but I I kept it a buck. Like, he has crazy potential, and he could fucking sing his ass off. It's just when he was rapping, sometimes it sounded wild uncomfortable. It sounds like some of it was recorded, like, a year ago, and then some of it he recorded, like, now, where he got kind of more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. but this project, you know, it it was... it was a sleeper for for the most part, but 
I, I put it in there. He had some words. He had some substance. His just delivery fucks it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm laughing at the crayon thing. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he like he hit me up like the, like the minute after you tagged him. He was like, bro, did you just did you tag your man in this? I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, yeah. What's up? He's like, oh, can you can you get someone else to review this? Because <laughs> um, he wasn't he wasn't too happy about this he's like oh they can't you know they don't live my life so they don't understand it dude but see that's uh, see, uh, that's what immediately but see life, but, you, but that's what shows me that like someone didn't actually read the through the review because i literally said it has some words and it has dope substance mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like the fact that he could say like oh but think you, about that hmm? what would you say no, but I was saying, like, he was saying, like, oh, they, they don't know what I've been through, you know, type shit he like that. He didn't it's make like, it past the crown thing. Yeah, the it's like, thing, dude, man. I do understand. I, it's like, I did listen, and everything you said is dope, but it's how you, I specifically said it's how you deliver it is not appealing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what these dudes got to get. Like, making music isn't just like, yo, I wrote my heart out on this. No, you have to make music, like, you got to be a good recording <laughs> artist as well as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be able yep. to record it so it sounds good to everyone or like just even to a very standard level of like just sounding good like people just know like if you're not a music snob you know what sounds good when you listen to it you know what i'm saying like sonically you know (laughs) sonically hedgehog yeah 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 like yeah but this project like (laughs) yeah (laughs) but this project i mean i i didn't i i didn't i didn't like it didn't sound good, but I get where he's going. Like, I, and I put it in there. I mean, my review, I fuck around. I dropped the cr- the crayon joke, but still, I put exactly how I felt about it. I'm like, <laughs> shit was smooth. <laughs> shit, shit had Someone smooth beats. Familiar and with crayon. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like yeah, at the end of the day, me. I keep it. I keep it real. Like, and I gave him some. Like, I gave. I feel like I gave him too much criticism, and the fact that like he doesn't like right. it. Upset me. real. <laughs> but yeah, Adam, you this is your this I is your this real. is your man's. You bump this project. What do you think of this? Uh, well, so I like like know him. So you have to like my him. review is a, a lot higher than this because I knew like what he was going through. Mm. A lot of stuff is like yeah. he went through when I was like friends with him. But I'm still friends with him. This is a day one. This is I was fresh off the airplane, and and he was there. So mm. you know, straight from Iraq. So I like I know him, and so this was like, you know. I'm not defending him, but this sounded a lot better to me because I knew it. Mm. But at the same time, nothing that you said was wrong. You know, everything you said was like, oh, with the with the auto tune, the mixing, like all that stuff was absolutely correct. Yeah, you know? like some of the, yeah, like sometimes auto tune is it, it, it's a it's a crazy instrument. Like it, like I call yeah. it an instrument because Biggie uses one. Sometimes it's, it sounds a little off. Like you know when certain things sound off, and sometimes oh, I personally absolutely. think he didn't need it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I thought he sounded better without it when he was just singing. You know what I'm saying? So, but see, that's why I can't be giving out too much on Saturdays. I got to cut down on the good feedback, Bruh. man. <laughs> you gotta just no. be like, it's good or it's not, and then shit on regardless. <laughs> that's well, what I do. I think people <laughs> misunderstand that any promotion is good promotion, Fact. and you know you're learning new stuff. That's yeah. all that matters. Really. Well, the, the whole thing is, is you could always. We had artists do this before. Where they spin it and they repost on their page and go, and they get oh, extra listens. These guys don't know me and they slandered me. What do my fans think? You know, like mm-hmm. that kind of shit. Right, and that's Absolutely. great. Like, and I think that's great for them. Like, it, they don't even have to tag us or anything. If they're getting those spins, that's good. For, you know what I'm saying? That's good. Like, I'd, I'd rather them get those spins, get those healthy screen, you know, streams. Like, live it up. You know, and if somebody does People come in, those insane, in their bag. Yeah. But if they get those crickets in that post, then we we might not have been wrong. That's so funny yeah we we know thought about when I- <laughs> Do, you know what i'm saying because like people could tell you while you're dropping your album to keep your steam like yo this is dope yo good job man great job making an album but then when the album actually sit and marinates and then you're like hey so what'd you guys think of it if you no get shares. crickets yeah you get crickets and no shares it's probably because they actually didn't like it they just don't want to hurt your feelings they're gonna be like oh man the algorithm must have blocked it. Be a good friend. yeah mm-hmm. and i get that but i mean i again i like to keep it a buck with people but you know, tell your tell your man's. I hope he listens. To this. Tell him to hit me up, man. Tell him to talk to me about hey, it. Sweet. <laughs> tell him to talk to me about it. But um, and then and then um, yeah. and then after that, we just my you know my daily dose of slander. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot today. <laughs> oh, I was having a good time. I was shitting on MGK. The Sosa Shocker one killed me. Oh my god, G Erbo. I was looking for oh, the G Erbo fans that came. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty what are you doing, man? Twenty-four years. <laughs> 
That's a fact. It took him 24 years. That's All crazy. he had to do was steal a new age flow. Phil. That's it. Still, his his worst flow was on that song with Maya moving <laughs> on. Like, oh my god. Maya's still like, pissed about it. <laughs> like he was like, you know, you just gotta, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, cause leader doing it, uh, you know, just roll with me. I was like, what is he talking about? The goat. So, Oh man, and then our uh, our slept on Sunday was uh, Devil's Night by D12. Such a dope fucking project. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like M wasted his best production on this project. Not wasted, but he gave them his yeah. best production. It's a good album, man. Great it's album. Ridiculous. Great album. Man, that album got me in so much trouble. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to go to school. I don't need no oh, education. Oh, I, I was living that for a bit. And fight music, that type of shit. That was fight like music. The oh my god. D12 was the hip hop emo for the hip hop emo kids. Oh, dude, Ooh, that, that era, yeah. That fucking Ooh, song yeah. where he was getting at Fred Durst and them, boy, that song was so quiet and peaceful, but made me want to fight. You little girls. Remember that shit? Girl, oh, fight, <clears throat> Yo, did we did we decide on this and slept on Sunday before the Kamikaze album dropped? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was uh, we put this like two, so this two weeks ago. Clan, this was just yeah. clandestine destiny. Right? It was just, nice. Yo, you want to hear some yeah. weird shit? So uh, just to throw it out there, I, I feel like M, he, like, haunted us all. So the night before, so Thursday night, I sent uh, I sent Spency, I call him Spency now, I sent Spency a verse, and I was like, man, I, I'm like, I summoned my inner, I literally messaged him, I'm like, I summoned my inner M for this one. And I was like, I don't know, man, I'm like, I don't know why, but I feel like I sound like him on this album drops, and I'm like, fuck, his spirit, bro. I have blonde hair now, guys. It's everywhere. You, like, we could feel it coming. Super Saiyan? Hey, get, get that writing credit from Eminem. Okay? Facts. Okay. Oh, can we speak on Here's that? My credit. That him using the Playboy Cardi, <laughs> Playboy oh, Cardi. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. yeah. What was the whole? What was the whole info on that? It's uh, apparently it's a real thing, but that kid who was um, the we did his album, the MKHL, the kid who went out of his way to hate on M, he said it's a real thing. Uh, I didn't listen to it because I I can never listen to Playboy Cardi ever again. But I wanted to know if any of you guys confirmed. What, what was are, are we just talking about like Eminem using this like uh, a string of words from <laughs> Playboy yeah. Cardi? Is that what we're talking about? I, th- yeah. I believe so. Yeah, I think that's what they posted. Yeah, and then he just gave him like writing credit. That's it, right? It says yeah. Eminem took his lyrics. Yeah. On greatest. Yeah. So what happened? Uh, hold up. Let me. But which me part? Because I don't. It's to like Playboy one Cardi. of his hooks. Um, he's like, oh, woke up, woke me. Oh, wait. Oh, woke up to woke up like N-word this. sounded like the, like me, and then he was like, <laughs> "That's that's uh-huh. what he's and that's what these these kids are saying." Yeah, but he didn't, stole. Say, he didn't say the N-word, but he like used that in like that cadence. Same. Yeah, and then but that was it. <laughs> yeah, Eminem steals. He, used, he did he did the same thing for Kendrick Lamar on uh, from like the humble. Like when he oh like, yeah yeah he yeah, said, yeah. Stroke, yeah. Just went viral. yeah and then he also gave him credit for that. but that's pay, but that's pay, uh, yeah. that's paying homage. Isn't he also it? Oh, did it with man, a I can't, DNA tr- I can't trust the, I can't yeah. trust these kids. They don't know yeah. what, they don't yeah. know yeah. what paying they're homage. They're just searching for anything. They don't know what paying homage. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know. Yo, tell me how you don't know me. This dude literally said, "Oh, whose man is this?" The the album only has about two good songs on there. It's not regular Eminem. Oh my and he's like, he's like, oh, and it's a disgrace to the Beastie Boys because of the. Oh the, my the, god! I was like, dude, you just really trying to hate right oh now. Oh my well, god! Yeah, you just looking mean, for something. He probably wasn't wasn't alive when the Beastie Boys were making music, so he doesn't know it. He doesn't understand. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Exactly. Disgusting. That hurts. Disgusting. I wasn't even alive am, when the Beastie Boys first I am started making music. When they were a yeah. hardcore band, I am disgusted. These low life thugs. I am appalled. Duh. They suck us. They don't know, suckers. man. They I don't understand how people suckers. can call themselves hip hop heads anymore. They don't know. They yeah. have no like background. Yeah, there's all. a lot of people they that think look... Eminem is still the first. Dude, rapper. honestly, I <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever they think Eminem was the first white rapper to ever make it commercially. Yeah. No, he wasn't. no, he wasn't. I, I guess not that's not even, even true. Like, no, Vanilla Ice. Get, you got fucking Vanilla Ice. Yeah, oh yeah, Vanilla Ice. MC Search was commercially known too. That too. Yeah. Yeah, Cage was in the battle rap circuit too. Yeah. Oh, uh, you yeah. have fucking Marky Mark. Come Facts on. and the Funky Bunch. Yes, yeah, no. I said, Oh yeah, but I'm gonna drop this cover and I'm boom bam. I like it, boom boom down. Facts. 
But uh, <laughs> that song was my shit. I never knew what he was saying. I was shocked when I learned the name of that song was Informer. I thought he was saying Informers. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> but uh, that's the that's the episode. So we had our special guest host who we barked over his voice the whole time. But um, oh, I'll get <laughs> we just old headed him. We we pretty much yelled, did our button thing. We just but, bullied uh, him the whole time. So <laughs> let's get into him real quick. Talk yeah, to yeah. us, bro. Give give the people a little more insight on you, my good friend. Oh man. Well, my name is Adam. That's that's not my real name. I have a more Arabic sounding name, but y'all gonna need to know that. Um. <laughs> It's but just Adam with some phlegm. No, no. So my birth name. <laughs> <laughs> you nah, I won't tell y'all. I could, I someone's, help out someone's gonna go find me on Facebook or something. Know where I live. It'd be hard to spell. But no, I'm from Iraq. Well, no, it's a three-letter word. But I'm from Iraq. But I grew up in Jordan. You know, living the hard knock life. You know. <laughs> but um, but yeah, just about six years ago, I came to the U.S. and uh, got introduced to hip hop. Through Lupe Fiasco, the then, goat. Nice, the, good place to start. Yeah, um, yeah, we did a. So you know the song "Bitch Bad," so yeah. we compared it to in my English class. Shout out Miss Hay. Um, <laughs> we uh, compared it to "Blurred Lines" by Robin Thicke, which is literally about like. Oh, rape. interesting. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. And so yeah. don't get don't get demonetized. But uh, yeah, so we compared the songs, and I was like, wait, who's this dude? And so I just listened to. Lupe the whole time for like the whole year my, my sophomore year of high school gets better every and listen and then yeah and then my man Atomic the guy y'all give a 3 out of 10 um <laughs> he, he, put, he put me on to like a lot of other rappers like Andre and that's Andre's his favorite rapper so put me on Andre on Andre and then you know I went from there and then I got on the radio and uh I got the number one hip hop show tune in it's uh KBVR Corvallis that's the station name uh, it's 88.7 if you're in the area if you're not uh, just follow me and then I usually promote the link really heavy I got the number one radio show on there right now nice, um, nice. 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 and uh, besides that you can find me on my Instagram Adam the Arab and then I the main reason I came here was to promote my uh, website so I got a blog with two other dudes and uh, it's called Lone Mic Stand so if you just google Lone Mic Stand um, you'll probably find it one word and we talk about everything hip hop, mostly international stuff. So, okay, yeah, talk, yeah, talk, talk more about it, because like you, I showed, I saw the page, and I saw that Marlo project on there, but I, I didn't really know yeah. what I was looking at because one, I just saw right. that project, and I made me listen to it again. So, so uh, it's started by me, the other guy named Fox, Sean Fox, DJ Foxtrot. Um, Best you'll name. find him under, uh, yeah, that's his actual name. That's fire. Fox. Anyway, but uh, yeah, so he's under B String Snaps, so he's a uh, a tall dude and so he like he is a communication major so he like graduated already though so he like will will just grill you with words nice T- Dawson's super talented Creek. dude and then uh another guy Colin uh Nomadic is that that's his name on there uh and he does he is um he like bilingual mm-hmm. and so he travels the world a lot and he'll go to like a lot of Hispanic countries and like south america and stuff like that and like even to europe and then he will you know bring back like the hottest rappers from there and like talk a lot about that so most of our fan base yeah is from there um and he's put me on like a lot of rappers um and yeah he is super like anti-patriarchy it's phenomenal he's like one of the best dudes ever um sorry i just went to my neighborhood (laughs) And uh, besides that, yeah, these these guys are the guys that got me to do radio in the first place. So, uh, you know, I respect them a lot. But yeah, um, Lone Mike Stan. Uh, All right, I big think, ups to them. So is that okay? Yeah. So now it makes sense because you're doing like the international thing. That's why the right because Lawrence, the the producer on the Marlow project. All right, I get it now. Yeah. Um, okay. Because he's like French. A bunch of yeah. Um, two of us actually speak French. Me and um, Sean speak French. So mm. that's cool. I speak yeah. French too, but I don't like to hey. let that be known. But okay. nobody cares, don't. John. You ain't shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you ain't shit. It's a fact. That's a real thing. Dang. I'm never going to be shit. We have to remind him all the time. Please. It's all good. Dude, let's talk <laughs> French sometimes. Okay. Yeah. You know. You. I. I, I, I <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah. But, okay. So those are the new projects. All right. And uh, what was it? Lone Mic Stand. One word. Just L O N E. Yeah. Lone Mic Stand. I just followed. Except. Yeah. So I followed him on Instagram a while ago. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, but we've been oh. hella slacking, um, mostly because. Yeah, I noticed you on Instagram. It's kind of light. Yeah. Oh man, um, you know I don't I'm, like to see that. You know how consistent we are. You know we don't like to see slacking. Yeah, you guys are the most consistent, bro. Okay, just, just want to give y'all a huge shout out for getting a thousand. Thank like, you. You guys are probably like from all the followers, like all the hip hop pages. There's like three that have like more than a thousand, and you guys are like the third one. Thank you. That's yeah, from so, and yo, we do, lose we as many as we gain roast. a day. <laughs> well, it's all the it's people that follow and follow. Yeah, we we like lose like thirty a day. We gain about like ten to twenty. So some days we have good days, some we don't. But like we 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 struggled to get. I'm just there, glad we didn't go consistent. backwards under a thousand after we announced it. <laughs> oh yeah, that would look crazy. I, was, I, was it. I just didn't want. To, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so we appreciate that, man. That Honestly, oh, we're man, we're no just problem. super we're super we're, we're just consistent. Like we have like a very like very oiled rig. Like we're a machine right now mm-hmm. and and, and exactly. we're still having fun. So fuck it, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to pump them out. And it's all organic too. Like you're not like paying for anything. Yeah, you like know? we've nah, what we've had we like what? That from the jump. We've had like what? Like out of and what sucks too is a lot of art, artists, man. Y'all need to show love when people show love. Like some artists, like never fucking give shout outs to. Like some people, I'm just like, mm-hmm. you yeah, just fucking shout us out. Like, and I like yell at them about it. But some people ask for money, and I'm like, it's not happening. But like, <laughs> yo, yeah, if someone gives you a good review, fucking post the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got fucking, yeah. I got fucking, um, what's his name? Uh, fucking from Looney's, just reposting like crazy, and no one even asked him for nothing. He was just showing us mad love, like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like yo, fucking Talib Kweli just followed us on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. and he he's reposted it. our shit. Ooh, yeah, he just repo. He's nuts on Twitter, but he's re- he reposted yeah, he's our wild stuff. Wild on Twitter, and it's like yo, these cats, go. these young cats, think they're better than everybody. I'm like, bro, we just gave you a dope review. Like it's prom- it's promo, bro. Like use it, especially Sticky the younger shit. cats. And yeah, it's like especially for like these SoundCloud kids. If they if if you have no type of following, and even if we only had a hundred followers, and you have ten share this shit yeah like it doesn't matter it's a good it's a positive thing it looks good for you yeah and it's content for your page. steal my hashtags like have a good fucking time like live your life like it's your craft bro like you, you don't have a manager like you don't have a fucking press team so just do the yeah, shit yourself somebody's got to do this shit for you we are your press team exactly <laughs> yeah We're trying to be your free street team and you're not even doing anything yeah we out here wasting Seriously, our time bro <laughs> Look what we do for Napoleon. He shouts us out a couple times, and we suck his dick for ten episodes. Yo, relax, chill, chill out, <laughs> chill, out bro. Dude, chill out, bro. Damn. Chill out, bro. Damn, you suck that nigga's dick. <laughs> you gave nah, him a good nah, rating too. too. You do too. Jay. We all have a stain from him. Hey, hey, hey I, I use the condom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna just take this out because if I don't want him uncomfortable listening right. to us, but nah, but yo, yeah, real shit. Nah, bro, like, where can I, when I can I do my application for not your man's? <laughs> Dude, there was a hey, man, there was, busy enough. Yeah, you're, under this madness. yeah, you got you got a lot of things going on with you. But yo, please believe. Even since since like back in the day, like when we first started following each other, like we were like, all right, this dude's been cool. We'll rock with you. So you know, you know for a fact, our hands always out there. Like yeah, you need anything from us, pages, yeah, you need anything always. from us, we got you. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's well, pretty much it. Don't man. put out a shitty album. So, <laughs> I'm, bro, I can't. I'm gonna put one in Arabic, and then y'all can, you know. Oh, that's, 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 that's a fact. I'm into oh, it. That's 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 Google, yep. Dude, I got a, I got a, I got, a, I got an EP coming out. With my <laughs> homegirl, who's Animal just, fish. my homegirl's just rapping in Bulgarian. Ooh, it's wild. Okay. That's wild. Yeah, she like sent me some that's of the wild. rough mixes, and I'm like, I don't know what you're like saying, but this is shit. wild. Yeah, it's wild. It's kind Are of you exciting. Latin, bitch. What the fuck? Yeah, when she <laughs> sent it to me, I was like, I thought I was bugging. Like, I thought I was having a stroke because I'm like, yo, these words aren't real words. <laughs> All the words are jumbled. <laughs> yeah. And then she's just like, no, no, I'm speaking Bulgarian. I'm like, oh man, because I really thought something was wrong. I was like, fuck. I was like, whoa, what's happening? Like, I'm, I'm exhausted. Did you just get corrupted? <laughs> like, I got <laughs> hacked. Like, my brain was like I used mush. To listen to, I used to yo, listen I to thought, K-pop in <laughs> Korean. Oh, that shit's fire. I Yo, still... K- K-pop, like, I can't w- listen to K-pop, but I could watch K-pop music videos all day. Right. Facts. Aren't they, aren't, they trying to, aren't they trying to, like, K-pop ban K-pop, K-pop, K-pop from somewhere? Didn't Jamaica, like, ban K-pop? I think I read, like, a false article. They were like, none hysterical. of this Bate Boy shit. Right, <laughs> 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 man. Oh, man, but um, that's pretty much it. Oh, man, this is one of those kind of extra long episodes, but it's fine because we have a guest host. But um, that's I think that's pretty much all we got, right? That's everything we got, right? No, What's no. What's that song by Alpha Man? <laughs> 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 no, no, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh lord. So, but that I think that's everything. I think we covered everything, right? 
I feel like I feel like M yeah, died midway through great. the midway through he's the cast. Pew, pew, pew. No, M didn't die. <laughs> He's <laughs> listening. But um, that's uh, that's all your plugs I you got, Adam. You sure you didn't miss anything? Um, not. I'm good. I Yo, that's it. No, holla at us. We need to get on that um, radio station and try really hard not to curse. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get on that radio show and cost you a couple yeah. thousand dollars. <laughs> 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 it's worth it. Um, no, but for real though, like, dude, like, come through, come hang out. Oh, Ever in down. Portland, you know. I mean, I'll all, the best place. I can do is call in because I'm in Florida. <laughs> I'll come. To, I'll come out to Portland, bro. I don't know. What's, I don't know what goes on out there. I don't know what goes on out there. I'm down. I'm the money for that. I'm, I'm Arab. They don't let me on planes anymore. So, uh, I'm, Portland got can't go. Oh, yeah, right. you can't. So it wasn't that you wanted to come here. You just can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> and it's they got me now. Hey, I spoke too much. All right. <laughs> We're gonna cut that out. We're gonna cut that out of the out of the cast. <laughs> but uh, all right, man. Fair enough. I'm gonna go get my power on, man. I'm done talking to you, fucks. Oh, yeah, and yo, yo, right. yo, Adam, tell your boy to hit me up, man. Tell him to not be soft. But yo, I'll let you guys. Uh, <laughs> definitely. All right.